When anxiety attacks, the devil has several weapons he launches against believers, and one of them is anxiety. There are times the devil tries to get believers to commit major and noticeable sins, but when he fails, he then turns to use what we would hardly take note of against us. Anxiety is one of the tools the devil uses to steal away our joy and peace. He tries to get us disturbed and uncomfortable by presenting a bigger picture of our challenges to us, thereby making us doubt the faithfulness of God. Anxiety could lead a believer into sin. It has made many to seek for help from sources God is never in support of. Anxiety makes us overburdened and worried about our future. It makes us begin to imagine the challenges of tomorrow and worry about them today. The end of anxiety is to make us lose trust in God and doubt his faithfulness. Matthew 6, 25 says, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on. Is not life more than meat, and the body than raiment? Jesus implied in this passage that there are weightier kingdom matters that should concern us more than to be anxious about the vain things of this world. God knows that we need supplies in order to survive on earth. However, He does not want us to be filled with anxiety. Each time we are anxious, we prove to God that we don't trust in the strength of His arms. Today, our aim is to put up some countermeasures that will help us to resist anxiety when it attacks our hearts. The following are measures we can put up against the invasion of anxiety in our hearts. Jesus said we should never let our hearts become troubled or afraid because His peace is ours. The peace that Christ gives is not the same as that which the world gives, although there are challenges in the world. However, anxiety should not be an option for us. You see, there is nothing good that anxiety can bring. Matthew 6, 25 through to 27 says, Therefore, I say unto you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap their gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Which of you by worrying can add one cubit to his stature? No matter how anxious you are, you can never get anything positive from it. Anxieties always worsen the situation of people rather than bringing solutions to them. God is not against us when we think about how to advance and make life better for ourselves, but He is against whatever robs us of His joy in our hearts. Anxiety becomes a rival with God when we allow it to fill our hearts. There is never any anxious man who can worship and praise God with joy. A man that gives room for anxiety in his heart will inevitably displace God in his heart. But anyone who allows the joy of the Holy Spirit to fill his or her heart will displace anxiety. Although the world is full of challenges and troubles, believers have an inside strength that enables them to keep sailing through the storm. One. Be reminded of God's faithfulness and past testimonies. Lamentation 3.22 says, It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because His compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Each time the devil attempts to disrupt our peaceful hearts with anxious thoughts, the best thing to do is to cast our minds back on the faithfulness of God over our lives in times past. The testimonies of the past will grant us the fortitude we need in the present and for the future. We can be rest assured that if God did something great in our lives before and delivered us from certain situations, then He can do it again. Testimonies are powerful tools in our hands that can knock the devil out of our hearts. It is only unfortunate that most of us are too quick to forget the faithfulness of God over our lives 
in the face of present challenges. The faithfulness of God over our lives in past times is what guarantees our present survival. And we can rest our hearts because His mercies over us are renewed on a daily basis. His faithfulness cannot be finished. No one who is reminded of the faithfulness of God can become victim of anxiety. David was reminded of the faithfulness of God over his life as a shepherd and he could boldly share the testimony before Goliath. When we magnify God's faithfulness over our lives, anxiety will fade from our hearts. 2. Remember the love and promises of God and focus on God. Jeremiah 29.11 reads, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. The thoughts that God has for every one of us is that of peace, not anxiety. Anxiety robs people of their peace and joy. It is therefore not of God. God cannot have a peaceful thought toward us and still infect our hearts with anxiety. Anxiety brings fear, and the Bible says that perfect love casts out all fear. This means that when we place our anxiety side by side with the love of God, it will suddenly vanish and be cast out. Matthew 6.32 says that God knows that we have need of all things which we worry about. So His love guarantees that those needs will surely be met. God loves us so much and would not want anything to disrupt our peaceful hearts. If we can remind ourselves of how much we are loved by God and the fact that we are the apple of His eyes, we will overcome all anxiety. God loves us so much that He gave us His only begotten Son to die for our sins. If He could do that, what else will He not do for us? If He could give us Jesus, what else will His love not give up for us? The consciousness of the love of God in our hearts will subdue the attack of anxiety in our hearts. To overcome anxiety, you need to study God's Word and discover His great promises concerning your life and pray them into reality. Romans 10.17 tells us faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. We must read the Word. The surest way to grow our faith is by reading the Word of God. God speaks to us when we read His Word. The Scriptures are inspired. They are God-breathed. They still contain the life-giving breath of God. When you focus your mind on God, you will have no room for worry or anxiety. Fill up with the Word of God and His promises. It will give you the comfort and assurance you need in God. Your faith will grow the more you read. When you read God's Word, you need to believe it and act in obedience to it. Pray that God will intervene in every seemingly hopeless situation you have found yourself. Apostle Paul explains this in 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through to 18. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Having a God consciousness will bring peace that surpasses human understanding. Isaiah in chapter 26, 3 understood it and he proclaimed, You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts in you. Praying about all the things you are anxious about will help you lessen the worry. Ask God for faith and courage to overcome, and he will give you peace. Only peace that he can give, which is not of the world. When you cast your anxiety on God, he comes into your situation and turns things around. I command every grip of concern over your life to be broken now in the name of Jesus. 3. Cast all your cares on God. You can always have your mind at rest once you are able to hand things over to God. Following 1 Peter 5.7 which says, Casting all your cares upon Him, for He careth for you. We can lay all the burdens of our hearts on God. One of the best ways to handle the attack of anxiety is to empty our heart conditions to God in the place of prayers. Instead of grumbling and murmuring against God, we are to cast not one, but all our cares upon God. And the reason is because He cares for us. So God has the capacity 
to deal with whatever has the ability to make our hearts sorrowful. 